Hey guys, it's Francesca. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am really excited today because... I look like a crazy person, but I finally got the iPhone 12 Pro Max in gold and I'm very excited. This is fun because I've never unboxed an iPhone before, like in my entire life. Um, and I realize that's because usually when I get an iPhone, I go to the Apple store and they just like open it for you. So yeah, I've seen a lot of these videos on the internet um, and I like watching them and I've been watching them in anticipation of getting my phone. So if you guys like videos like that, hopefully you guys like this one. I also got a bunch of accessories. I got some cases. I got a case from Caseify and I got a case from Amazon and I will be showing you guys those after I open the iPhone. Use like all the basset hounds on it. <laughs> I think it comes with a normal Apple sticker and a cord. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm gonna use this cord because it's like a USB C cord and I don't have a block and I don't really understand why Apple took the blocks away because they're trying to eliminate waste, but now everyone's going to rebuy a block for this charger, which is weird. <laughs> To be honest, I've, I've never seen this before, so I don't really know what to do. I guess I'll do transfer from iPhone. I don't know. I don't remember seeing that before. Or maybe that's just me. My first impressions of it are that the screen feels a lot bigger. Um, even though it's only like 0.2 or something millimeters bigger than my old phone, it feels... A lot bigger for some reason. It definitely looks a lot cleaner and easier to kind of see, I guess. This is also the difference in color between the two. This is the silver one and this is gold and they look really similar. Like the gold is pretty muted. You can really kind of tell on the sides. I don't know if you guys can tell. 
you can really tell on the sides this is more of like a beigey warm tone and this is obviously like chromatic silver um but that's why i like the gold like i like that it's like a beige neutral color um it's just very like appealing to me but this is the case i ordered from case to buy there it is comes with some wipes which is nice and a little card and whatever this is i feel like a lot of unnecessary cards but this is the case i got i got a personalized one and this is from their impact series my old case from them is the ultra impact and it has like these thingies on the side but I wanted to try a thinner one. I think this is really pretty. I think it's great for fall. It's like a nice neutral kind of fall vibe. I also ordered a silicone case on Amazon. But this is the silicone case. This one is like um, pink, like a light pink. And these silicone cases are really good. Um, the ones I've gotten in the past are pretty protective and this silicone doesn't feel nasty with time. It holds up pretty well, so I recommend it if you guys haven't tried it. It's a little harder to take off than the this one. I think it's because these things help. It's not as protective as the Case to Find one, but really pretty nonetheless. And it's very soft. Look at you. I thought you got the green case. I did. I got two. What's up? Video. And then I also got these screen protectors, which is so important. I always have a screen protector on my phone. I think they were like, I'm gonna say less than $10. Also a fun fact for you guys, after the iPhone has been out for a while, give it like a couple months, the 99 cent store has the best glass screen protectors ever, but because this phone just came out, like the 99 cent store, is obviously not gonna have that yet. Um, lay it down precisely. Press screen from central part to edge. Lay what down precisely? Like, this is tripping me up. I don't understand this. I could be wrong, but I'm putting it on it. you guys um, enjoyed watching this I'm not an expert like at any of this iPhone stuff but I thought it would be fun to just show you guys and open it and set it up I think what I'm gonna do is after a week of having it I'll review it compared to my old phone and I'll let you guys know what I think I didn't ever have the 11 so from what I can see it seems pretty similar to that one so it may not be like super worth it for you to upgrade your phone unless you're jumping from like this one I guess and I'll also show you guys um, what's on my phone and how I'm going to set up my new iOS 14 because I have like a fall pumpkin theme on my old one but I'm thinking I want to do something different for this one I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> okay bye